Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Honda Pilot, we're gonna be checking out the Kurt Premium Hitch Ronda Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Pilot. I think it looks pretty good. <clears throat> you know, it holds your bike up at a, at a good level here to where it's easy to get it off and on and you can still see out of your back window whenever you're driving down the road. So uh, that's always a bonus. The rack that we have here today can hold up to a total of four bikes. Um, but if you need to carry more, there's a five bike version uh, available as well. So you have a couple of choices there. But uh, one of the great things about uh, this setup is it's really simple and really easy to use. So it's gonna work with a lot of different things, a lot of different bikes. Um, it's gonna hold your bike down in three spots. So we're gonna have two straps here on the top two, <clears throat> excuse me, and then a strap down here. And what this is gonna do is help eliminate that side to side movement. So when you're driving down the road, you know, the bikes are gonna move around a little bit and you don't want them banging into each other. And so that's really gonna help out with that. Uh, with that said though, let's go ahead and just get our bike off so we can see what we're working with here. Just gotta pull down on your straps, flip them out of the way You can grab our bike and pull it off. At the end, you probably noticed it tapers down, and so that's gonna help with a couple things. One, making it more manageable to get off, and two, uh, it's gonna work, uh, you know, it's gonna be really ideal for those smaller frame uh, bikes, like a children's bike, for example, but that's not to say you can't hold a full-size bike back here either. It'll still do that. Right, grab this and, and get out of the way. The cradles here where your bike's frame is gonna sit, um, Pretty, pretty cool actually, they're adjustable. So they have three different sides, right? And they're all shaped a little bit different. And so you can kind of choose which one best accommodates your bike. Uh, that way, you know, it stays the most secure. And it get, they give you a ton of uh, tie down points as well. So if it works better like this, you can do it that way. If you like to cross it, that's fine too. You have a bunch of different options. So uh, the straps, they're decent. They're not the best ones I've ever seen, but definitely not the worst. Um, so they fall somewhere in the middle there. Feel uh, feel like they, they should hold up quite well. Um, not fall apart right away by any means. So that's good. And I do suggest uh, just taking the straps and kind of putting them back in position. That way it keeps everything together uh, while you're not using the rack. Something that we do need to think about whenever you have the bike rack on the back of our pilot, is it is going to extend the overall length of it. So uh, to find out how much, we go from the hatch to the very edge, that's gonna be right at about 38 and a half inches. So keep that in your mind, you know, if you got a small garage or are uh, pulling to a tight parking spot. The arms, however, do fold down out of the way <clears throat> to free up some space. So we're gonna have a pin and clip there and pull that off. You swing down and makes it relatively compact now. And in this position, looks like actually the furthest point is probably gonna be down here. So that's where I'll measure from. Just go from our bumper to it. And in this position, it's only gonna add about a foot to the back of your Honda. So uh, really shouldn't give you any issues, even if you do have a small garage or, or pull into that tight area. One of the big questions we get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to get into the back of your pilot. Uh, this one does fold down. And to do that, a few things we need to do. There's a T-handle here, you can loosen that up and pull out this pin and clip. And once this is out, then you can lift up on this. And that allows it to swing down and out of the way. And in this position, it's gonna give you all the space you need to be able to open up that rear door and get anything you might need uh, in and out of the back of your Honda. So the rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like the trailer hitch that we have here today on our Honda. And it's also gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt. All right, what that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point. That's gonna help keep things quiet whenever you're going down the road. Uh, to give me an example of that, Let's say if we're driving and we're hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Honda and not on its own. Granted, the arms are gonna move a little bit, but 
you know, that's really, that's, you're not going to be able to hear that. What you hear normally is the rack actually kind of clunking around in the hitch. So, although this has a little bit of movement, not really a big deal. Other than that though, a pretty nice bike rack. You know, it's going to be a great way to carry around a lot of bikes and especially a variety of them. You know, if you have a lot of different types of bikes, chances are really good. Uh, you'll be able to load them up on this. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kurt Premium hitch mounted bike rack on our 2020 Honda Pilot.